Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Hillbilly Wine 101. And uh, I'm going to continue with my um, kind of 70s and 80s um, retro wine reviews. So, tonight, Wendell has brought me Lancers right, Rosé. Slightly sweet, slightly fizzy wine from Portugal. Made up of four different grapes. Um, I'll put them in the description. Um, Seven dollars ninety nine cents, and it is ten percent uh, ABV. <clears throat> this wine, in the early eighties, sold about a million bottles a year in the U.S. Uh, it was first developed in um, in nineteen forty four. The company had been in um, Portugal for a while, uh, but in uh, forty four. An American uh, went over to own a d distribution company, and he went to Europe and he was tasting wines. And he kind of wanted a, a light, fruity type wine that he thought Americans would like at the time. So that's really uh, Americans. Um, their taste for wine wasn't that developed. They were starting to get into it because they were coming home from Europe after fighting the war, and they'd been introduced to some wines, obviously. And so he was looking for something he thought they would like. Uh, found, searched around, finally found this. Uh, company in Portugal and wanted the wine imported and he had some painting that he loved and the name Lancer was in this painting so he named the wine after it was shipped over here at Lancers. Uh, they put it in a bottle that looked like this but it was made of clay or pottery. Um, it was a good idea because it was different. Uh, it was about the same time Matus was coming over, and that was also from Portugal in a uh, kind of an odd-shaped uh, bottle. Uh, it helped sell the wine. Um, problem was that the um, the clay uh, it, it, it breathed, and it let too much air in, and, and in a quick time the wine spoiled. So I remember it when it was. Um, I don't think it was the clay, but it was a bottle that was uh, the, the glass, I think, I don't think it was the clay, was colored. I remember that. And it had green for white, red for red, and this kind of um, odd color, uh, orangey color uh, for the rosé. Uh, now, then apparently it went to a frosted glass, which I don't remember, uh, and now they have a regular clear bottle with um, um, like a plastic you know, mimicking the old style that I remember. Um, and I assume when it was clay, when it first came over, it, uh, it was all maybe one color. I don't think they had the green, the red. And the... Anyway, a little bit of history on it. Um, this was um, $7.99 if I didn't mention that. Um, I've never had it. Uh, I sold a lot of it, but never tried it. Uh, I remember it was very popular. If I didn't have this channel, I probably wouldn't be trying it now. But I'm excited to try it because here's what I'm thinking we're going to get out of this. We're going to get a wine that it says semi-sweet, but I think it's going to be sweet. It's only 10% ABV. Um, I guess it'll be fruity. What, well, we'll see. I just have an idea what I think this is going to taste like. And I think it's going to be good for people. You know what? I, well, let me let me try it before I get uh, too crazy giving all these ideas. And I don't even know what it tastes like. Uh, I'm kind of excited about uh, trying it because I don't know how many uh, years I sold this. And for some reason, I never tried it. Um, I can tell you exactly where it was to, in the store. So, it's a screw cap. Good place to go for there. All right. Here goes nothing. Um, oh, pretty color. Yeah. Pretty nice. It's a nice pink. Okay. Not getting a whole lot on the old beak. A little bit of um, kind of like um, maybe a very weak, um, we'll say a very weak cherry soda. Okay, can't give you much more. 
Um, let me, before I even taste this, serve well chilled right on the thing. Uh, imported rose wine, produced bottled um, product of Portugal. Doesn't have a lot of uh, info. I don't ever like to read the uh, tasting notes because uh, I'll do my own notes and I don't want to be influenced. I don't really care what they say, I'm going to uh, care what I say. So I'm not trying to sell it. what I thought. You know, it's um, it's got a little fizz to it. The fizz and the acid. It's sweet, but it, it makes it, that, that fizz and that acid makes it taste less sweet than it is. So it doesn't, it tastes sweet. You can feel the sweetness. But the fizz and the acid makes it refreshing. Um, it's light, um, you know, there's no tannin, there's no woodiness. Um, you, you would drink this where you would drink soda. So anywhere you'd have a soda, you have a soda with dinner, you just have a soda because you want a soda, this is what this is for. You can have it with food, it's a sipper. Um, you know, if you can have it with food, you know, I mean, you have anything you want. Um, obviously, light picnic foods, I would think, but um, or just on a, you know, what I'm telling you, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go drink two glasses of this here in a minute. Uh, it's 80 something degrees here, and I'm gonna sit on my uh, back patio and I'm gonna enjoy it because it's hot, and it's just cold, um, and it's light, and it's fruity, and it's fizzy, and. Just tastes like a um, without all the sugar. Kind of a um, um, trying to think what the flavor really. Uh, uh, I want to say maybe a light. You know what I think it tastes like? I think it tastes like a cherry soda mixed with Seven Up. If you know what that is, like a lemon lime soda with a little cherry at it. Okay, uh, but not as fizzy. Um, and easier to drink than a soda. So I think a lot of people would like this. I think this is uh, fun. It's inexpensive. Uh, it's refreshing. It really is. Uh, it's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, and so uh, now, as far as aging this wine, uh, you should age it from the uh, store where you bought it to the house. Uh, that's all the aging this, <laughs> this needs. Right? It's not to be aged, it's to be drunk. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I enjoyed doing it. I can't believe I waited, uh, I don't know, 30 something years uh, to try this. But that's what's great about this channel. So, from Hillbilly Wine 101, everybody. Cheers.